Welcome back to my channel, everybody. So I'm gonna have this video kind of be a weekend vlog because I did a lot of fun stuff this weekend, um, more than my usual routine, which is uh, nothing or working. So I figured I would tag take you along with me. You can tag along. Um, so the first clips that you're gonna see are from a pretty spontaneous trip to uh, Memphis that me and my mom and Hunter, my husband, took. And it was such a fun time. I really wanted to do some family research because I've talked about it a little bit on here before. I'm gonna actually set you up here, I think. So I've talked about it a little bit on here before, but I am really interested in genealogy and specifically like my family history on my mom's side um, for right now. And so there was a specific person we were going to look for their gravesite actually in Memphis because we thought that he might be buried there. And we did find some very interesting information from that, which I might share later, but we believe that we found where he is buried, but it didn't really give us any super big clues, but I have some other things that I'm going to be looking into. If you are interested in genealogy, let me know. I can help you do some like basic family history research. Um, I'm not a professional at all. I hope to one day be like a certified genealogist because I think that would be so much fun. Um, but yeah, so that was kind of like what prompted the trip because this cemetery was in Memphis and I was like, hey, like, why don't we just make it a whole day, make it a road trip? Um, and that's the clips that you're going to see. We drove, about, it was about four hours, so I met my mom um, where she lives and then we drove all the way there and we went to the graveyard, which I have some clips of. And then we went to the Elvis Presley Museum, Graceland, which is awesome. I love Elvis. Um, my grandma was a really big Elvis fan, so that was fun. Um, my mom had been before, but me and Hunter had not been before. So it was a really cool experience. I think it was really, it, they have like the whole mansion that you can walk through and it's uh, set up like exactly how it was when he lived there. And so it's really cool and vintage and you can see all the really interesting decor and like memorabilia and things like that. And you also even get to walk through like two of his airplanes that he had. Um, so yeah, that's what the clips that you're gonna see are now. Okay, hello vlog, welcome back. We're on another random adventure with Nancy and Kayla. <laughs> uh, we are on our way to Memphis for just a little day trip. We've got some cool things planned that we're gonna take you along for. Uh, the first one being, and this is very on brand if you know me in real life, uh, we're just gonna, we're driving to the cemetery where one of my ancestors is buried, allegedly. So I'm really into genealogy, which I've talked about on here before. And so there's this specific like great grandfather, which really is not that far, especially in the span of genealogy. So he's only like my third great grandfather. And we have no idea like what his parentage is, like anything really about him. It's very mysterious. And so I'm wondering if maybe we can get some clues from his grave. Uh, so we're gonna go look and just see. And then we're also gonna go to the Elvis Museum, which are, or Graceland, which Yay! I'm really excited about. Mom's been there before, but I have not been for. Hunter's also here, but he's, he went he's to the restaurant. Right We've got our <laughs> coffee, cheers. We're ready to go. Uh, and then we're gonna go to a couple other places so we're gonna bring you with us, so. Stay Bye. tuned. Hunter, say hey to the vlog. Mm -hmm. Say hey vlog. It's <laughs> really good Hi. to hear your voice. Say we're hi. reminiscing listening to old music. Let's go.
I got this new mug in Memphis on our trip from this really cute bookstore that I'm so sad I forgot to film at, but I'm gonna include pictures either here or like in the vlog style. So I am obsessed, it's so cute. This bookstore is like a, over a hundred years old and it was beautiful. show you guys my morning routine like my morning skincare routine just while I have you in this vlog so I'm gonna be using the ordinary toner and I have these really cool like reusable cotton pads that you can just like literally throw in the washer um, mm -hmm. this is like the you put them in this bag and they wash in the washer it's super cool you just wash and dry them and there's like 20 or 30 of them and it's so much less wasteful than just using like disposable cotton pads because I was going through so many of those. So I literally just put a little bit of it on the cotton pad and you can use these up to a couple times depending on like how dirty it is. I use these to remove my makeup and use toner, skincare and things like that. And I just spray a little bit of that on the cotton pad and just wipe it all over my face and my neck. Don't forget your neck ladies. It sucks right now, but it's fine. We're trying to heal her. And this it just makes my skin feel so much more refreshed and it does like it can burn a little especially if you have some problem areas but it's nothing like intense and i try to keep it fairly simple in the morning um, i have some other products that i like to use at night which i'll show you guys another time maybe later in this vlog um this is the ordinary hyaluronic acid serum and i have dry skin and so this is really helpful for my dry skin hyaluronic acid is really good for you and then I also use this peptide serum uh, underneath my eyes and on my forehead. So I'm gonna just put this one all over my face and this one I only put in specific areas on my face. So it has like a little dropper, which is really nice. So yeah. And so today I kind of have some vlog, just regular vlog footage that I've been doing. Um, I figured I'd just make it a weekend vlog because I didn't have too much footage from yesterday, for, which was Friday. So today's Saturday, I just did my makeup and so this is kind of what we're looking at for eyeshadow and makeup. And I was just gonna show you, I didn't really feel like filming me doing my makeup, but I wanted to show you what I used today. Um, so these are a couple of what I'm enjoying lately. So this is the ColourPop Pretty Fresh Primer. I almost, I all like we're pretty low, but this is such a good primer. It's very hydrating. Um, my skin is feeling extra dry lately. So I'm trying to use some hydrating products, which brings me to one of my favorite foundations that I really love, which is the Makeup Revolution Conceal and Perfect Foundation. Both of these items are really affordable. Um, Makeup Revolution is a great brand. I love this foundation. They have a, like, not mattifying, but they have, like, a not hydrating version if your skin's more dry or, like, combination. Try that out. The concealer that I used is this one by Milani. This one's a little bit dark for me, but I can make it work, like, depending. Um, but this is the Milani Conceal and Perfect Concealer. And I really like the coverage that this gives. Um, it's not too much. It's like a medium coverage because this foundation is actually pretty full coverage. Um, so I didn't want to do like the most. So I use this concealer. And then the powder I use is just a classic. It's the Cody Airspun Loose Setting Powder. And I use that underneath my eyes just because I want to make sure that they don't crease because um, this concealer dries pretty fast, but it it still like can be a little creasy depending. So I just always like to set my under eye with loose powder just cause I feel like it looks better. Um, and then to powder the rest of my face cause this foundation can be a little sticky because it is hydrating. I use my new um, Hourglass Ambient Lighting powders. So I use this for highlighting too. This definitely is more on the natural side. So if that's what you like, um, I would try this out. It is quite expensive. I did have a gift card, so I splurged. I normally only use like mainly drugstore stuff. So, but these powders are really great quality. I've talked about them on here before, I feel like, but I used like this one as like a pressed powder, like all over my face and it brings like a nice glow to the skin. I don't know if you can see really. Um, and then I used a combo of these two as highlighters. So I like swirled them together, used it as highlighter. And again, it's just really subtle. 
which is not normally what I go for, but for a day like today, like I think it's perfect. What next? Oh, I used two, I usually like to combine two different bronzers. Um, I used both of these. This one has seen, seen better days, I'll tell you that. So this is the Essence Sun Club bronzer and she's, she's looking rough here, okay? Um, and then I used it in combination with this, the Balm bronzer. Um, it's also pretty good. So next up, I used this blush palette that I believe I got from TJ Maxx for like super affordable. Yeah, there's stuff on it. And it's, does not look great. Like it's pretty rough looking, so just bear with me. Um, but this is the Pro Fusion Cosmetics blush palette. And it comes with six colors and they're all really pretty. I really like this middle one. So it's like shimmery, but not too much. It's, it's like glowy more than shimmery. There's not like glitter specks that are going to be on your face. So I really like like the color it gives. I think it's really nice. So this palette's really good. And I, again, I can't tell you exactly where to get it because I found it at TJ Maxx, I believe, or like one of those type of places. So next up, I already told you about highlighter. Next up for my eyeshadow, which I did like a kind of green brownish look, I used the ColourPop Hocus Pocus palette, which this is one of my faves. It is so cute. I know I've talked about it on here before. So just so you can see for reference, I used this color and this color in my crease, kind of combined them. And then on my like outer corner, I used this dark green color, just like packed it in the outer corners with like a flat brush. And then I always like to use this glitter glue by NYX. This is what it looks like. And this lasts you so long, like there's a lot of product in here and you only use like a tiny bit. So I squeeze out a tiny bit of this and I use it on the my eyelid to lay the shimmer down. Um, and I used this color right here. It's like shimmery greenish. And this is kind of a trick I've been doing lately where I use a darker shimmery color on my lid and then I layer a lighter color on top of it, which creates kind of like this effect. And so I laid on top of it this like whitish color and I kind of like just spread it out. I always use my finger for shimmery shades. I feel like that's just better. Um, and then I use that same shade in my inner corner to kind of like make that pop. And then I use this uh, eye pencil, this white eye pencil in my waterline of my eyes. And what else did I use? Oh, uh, I don't do much for my eyebrows, but I like to do this, which is by Essence. It's the eyebrow pin um, that I just use. And it's like a, I don't know if you can tell, but it's like the little spiky, you know, you know what I'm talking about. So I use that and I just like quickly brush it through. I don't do anything major. And then I use the ColourPop Clear Brow Gel to like fluff them up. And then I, to set everything in place, used my Morphe and Jeffree Star setting spray, which is wonderful. And I think that's about it for my makeup today. I don't know what else I'm going to do today, but I'll bring you along just for the ride. Just because, who knows, I guess it'll be fun. We'll see. But I hope you enjoyed what I'm wearing on my face. Sorry I didn't actually film me doing it. I want to do like more actual filming, my like me doing my makeup videos. But it just, it's a lot. And I like to listen to music or like YouTube while I do it. So I feel like... I'm always distracted so but yeah this is what I'm wearing on my face today hey guys so I realized I never recorded an ending to this vlog so I just wanted to go ahead and wrap it up here thank you guys so much for watching and I appreciate you so much and I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll catch you next time bye